My name is Niels Vandenberg, I'm the CEO of MintBlue and our mission is to make the public blockchain as accessible as the public internet. And we do this through offering APIs and SDKs that enterprises can easily integrate into their own systems to connect their current business model to Web3, to elevate them and leverage the capabilities of Web3. These are things like data ownership and data control, and that's what MeanBlue brings to your platform and your users. Web3 is about data ownership and data control for our users. But at the end of the day, it is about a open protocol where everyone has access. So it's permissionless. You don't have any gatekeepers telling you to go on the internet. And you don't have any gatekeepers that tell you you can access your data because you are the owner. It is ultimate resilience. It's never going to be down. Web3 will always be there, just like your car will always be in front of your house. Your data will always be available to use for you. And that's really what it's about. That's the decentralization part in Web3. Network resilience, permissionless access. Don't get confused by governance. Much of the crypto and Web3 space thinks decentralization is about democracy, about a new voting system to decide what's got to happen to a company or an initiative. This is often not the case. There's often, uh, it's often like a, a, a deflection of that there's actually someone have in being in control. Truly, the core of Web3 is data ownership and control. That's, it's, it's not really about the governance. So we have quite a lot of different solutions going on, but in the end of the day, it all comes down to one software as a service API platform that connects to the public blockchain. Just like Stripe doesn't only apply to web shops, they also supply Uber and Airbnb. We are an access point provider that can accommodate a whole range of services. We are fairly active in the e-invoicing market. We are integrating with bookkeeping systems to authenticate invoices. Um, this combats fraud and enables accountants to save hundreds of hours every year. We're also doing multi-party access controls with invoices. There's something called continuous transaction control in Europe that becomes mandatory over the coming years. And we can enable via the blockchain, multiple parties, an auditor, a tax office, and a bookkeeper to access the same invoice in real time at the same point. So we're all doing all those kind of solutions within e-invoicing. We announced a partnership with Nowwatch I have one on me right now. This is a smart wearable brand, one of the world's first that takes absolute data ownership seriously. It is an authenticator device to your on-chain wallet where all your biometric information is stored and now you're the owner of your own data. You can exchange it with third parties like research labs, health facilities, hospitals, universities, and even maybe fitness gyms. So imagine you go in a fitness gym and the teacher asks you, can I have access to your heartbeat and your sleep cycle the coming months? Because then I can enhance my fitness plan. And that's all possible now with a personal biometric data marketplace. We have a partnership with Visma Yuki and we're expanding into making multiple bookkeepings interoperable via the blockchain. So authenticated invoices can be exchanged. The key element here is that a blockchain can prove authenticity of data. And now with AI taking the world, it is very important to put shackles on AI, being able to truly trust the output of an AI. And with our identity authentication solutions, we have an integration with the Dutch Chamber of Commerce, where we have integrated the commercial register of the Netherlands to public keys on the public blockchain. So we can allow companies to upload data to the blockchain that is connected to the commercial register. So now you can prove the authenticity of information. One of our other uh, clients is called Something, and Something is a nature restoration organization. They plant trees in the Amazon, they clean the ocean. And what we've built with them is a public protocol where you can place uh, nature restoration orders directly on chain in a transaction. And Something listens on the blockchain for these transactions coming in and they execute it. So now you can create a transaction where you say, I want to apply, uh, plant five trees, I pay 50 euros or dollars or pounds for it. Something uses MintBlue infrastructure to listen to the blockchain like, ah, there's a transaction with an order, takes the transaction, plants the trees, proves that it's done. And you have full provenance of carbon offsetting. Now this public protocol can be used anywhere. And this is on top of that, the BSC blockchain itself is already one of the most green blockchains out there because the block size is not correlated with the carbon emission. 
we have unbounded block sizes and the carbon footprint is the same. So it's like, yeah, you can just, just scale and then the carbon footprint is the same. We have proven this in, in calculations on our uh, blockchain sustainability index. If you go to meanblue.com or the direct URL is impact.meanblue.com and you can see the, the carbon sustainability index there to check it out yourself.